we've changed the structure of our company a few times, adding and subtracting services. Uh, we do this after carefully reviewing the profits and losses, ease of the jobs, and the effect it takes on our scheduling, honestly. Uh, some ask, why do you not do this or that type of work? Trust me, uh, a company that does everything typically doesn't have each and every service as tight as they, they possibly can be as far as processes. Yes, there may be a few here and there that are able to accomplish this, but not too many. My experience as a painter with commercial painting for general contractors has been vast. Over 20 years working in that area, and I can tell you that typically they have no idea what they're doing as far as scheduling, job sequencing, and their only goal is to get the project done by any means necessary as fast as possible. We've done a lot of work for general contractors and either comes out fine or not, but the main content is there's always a headache. It's always a headache for the staff trying to manage someone else's schedule and unreasonable expectations. Painting too soon before everything's ready, painting without adequate lighting, or painting while every other trade is in, the, in the world is there, uh, trying to get their work done and be expected to fix all this work once everything's clear and the lights are on for free. Does that sound familiar? We decided collectively not to do any more work if we do not have control of the schedule ourselves, which also helps control the payment schedule. In commercial work for contractors, it's typical to have to wait 30, 60, 90 days or more to be paid. And trust me, they will try every way possible not to pay you and dangle that money over you. Uh, now we still do commercial work and we do a lot of it, but we go direct to the owner or facility, making it much easier to get questions answered, correct any work, and be paid fast. Uh, now I know many companies who only do commercial work for contractors and they have great relationships and everything works out great. It's just not for us. So the moral of this rant is to stick with what you do best. You don't have to be everything to everyone or keep up with the Joneses. Do you, do it the best possible way, 